I really like books in case you haven't noticed. Um, also, a very quick rest in peace to my string light. This won't turn on anymore. That's... I'm sad. Okay, yeah, I really like books and everything about books. I like reading them, yes. I like collecting cool looking books. I like writing and I also really like bookmarks. I collect bookmarks like an insane person. And I also always choose a bookmark that is fitting to the theme of the book that I'm reading because I have nothing else to do. So I thought, why not make some bookmarks yourself? Because that could be cool, but hold on, not so fast, because that is only the first little trivia fact about me. The other one is that I don't like throwing away things, especially things that have like a 0.001% chance of being useful again. But there is a chance, so I don't want to throw them away. I am not a hoarder, but I am... Th the potential is definitely there. And that's why I have a thing full of these. These are all the yarn ends from my crochet and knitting projects. And I didn't throw them away because I was like, surely I can use them for something. And then I had the bookmark idea and then I thought it definitely makes sense to use these for that. So we are going to incorporate yarn into the bookmarks somehow now. I have kind of a plan. But not really, but kind of. So the definitely not thought through plan is that I want to use fabric for the bookmarks because I mean there are fabric bookmarks out there, I even have a few. So why not? Why why can't I make some? Yes, this is cotton fabric that I've used for making patches before. It's very thin. But then I also found this in my boxes of trillion arts and crafts things. This is cross stitch fabric and it's very, very thick and sturdy and nice. So I thought, oh wait, stop. And then I also have iron on adhesive. So I thought, bird is singing, don't mind that. So the plan is black fabric, iron-on adhesive, this thing, and then again iron-on adhesive, and again black fabric, and then it's... Yes, that w probably won't work, but I don't care. This is the plan for making it sturdy, and I don't think that any of you could follow my thoughts right now, but we will get there, okay? So the general plan is to make bookmarks out of fabric and use my little yarn scraps for that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> can you follow me? Everyone is shaking their head at home. So I guess the first thing to do, the sensible thing to do would be to come up with a, an, an actual plan, but I'm not going to do that. So the other first thing to do is to think of some designs. Yeah, right, okay. I'm going to draw some, some nice bookmark designs now. got some designs. I made three different designs, obviously. I mean, three different shapes of bookmark designs. That didn't make any sense. I am once again showing you this on the screen on my iPad instead of just inserting the picture because the because. first one is just a like classic rectangular bookmark. Very nice. Some little cute planets. Space design. Great. The second one is going to be a corner bookmark with some flowers on, on it because I thought that was cute. Right. And then I saw these bookmarks. I don't know how to explain them. These. And I thought they were cute and I thought um, I wanted to make one of these. And then I also thought that this will probably definitely not work with fabric. But then I also thought I don't care. So uh, I'm going to make it anyways. And then in the end, ask myself why it didn't work, even though I knew it wouldn't work. But maybe it will. So these are the three designs. My plan is also to paint the fabric and please don't yell at me but I'm also just going to use acrylic paints which probably everyone is screaming at home right now but, but I, I don't need to be able to wash them and if I just use acrylic paint then I don't have to buy fabric paint because I don't own any fabric paint all right so I'm going to use the things I have at home here. Okay now let me think let me really quick think about the order of which steps to do first and then what? Hmm? <laughs> okay, wait. Now, now it is time where I need to actually formulate a real plan. Because otherwise I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> The plan is made. Does it make sense? I don't know. Step number one, sketch the shape, get the shape somehow onto the fabric because I'm once again working with black fa fabric. So that means I can't use my water-based pens because you won't see them, but I'll figure that one out. So sketch the shape, then I'm going to paint my designs with acrylics and then 
I want to embroider some details with my yarn scraps because we want to use this these today. This is this is kind of the point of the video that I want to use these things that I'm keeping for no reason. But today we have a reason, so it's um, I'm not insane anymore for for keeping these. That's the point of the video. All right. So sketch shape, paint, embroider, then iron on adhesive. So we are going to combine the fabric and the cross stitch fabric. And I'm almost certain that the iron on adhesive won't stick to this, but I'm going to try anyways. And I also want to sew them together anyways, so that it's just won't fall apart within the first five seconds. Step number five is if this already sticks together, then I'm going to cut and then sew. If it doesn't stick together, then I'm going to sew and then cut. And then <laughs> that should be it. <laughs> All right, let's draw some shapes. Get the, get the shape somehow on, onto here. I don't know how yet, but I'll, I'll figure it out, surely. All right, ladies and gents and all you other awesome people out there, we got some shapes. Nice, okay. Now it's time for acrylics. I kind of forgot where my paint is. I think the last time I used it, after I used it, I put it back where it belongs. So welcome to today's episode of Are My Things Where They Belong? Or are they not? Probably not. Let's see. Let's find out. Some birds. They are where they belong. That's crazy. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to start with a corner because it's the easiest design. However, <laughs> I want this to be green. That means I'm going to have to paint the whole thing, which is probably insane, but I don't care. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I'm, I'm going to do it anyways. My motto. Maybe you can make a drinking game out of this. Take a shot every time I say this is probably a bad idea, but I'm going to do it anyways. But maybe don't because drinking is bad for you. Yes. Okay. Now that we got that covered, let's paint some fabric with non-fabric paint. All right, let's do it. Okay, so far this is actually working a lot better than I expected it would. Who would have thought? I sure as hell didn't. So now while this dries, I'm already going to start painting the other designs. And then when this is dry, uh, I need to add some cute little flowers. And then that is also done. And then we can embroider. And this may have worked in the end. Okay, let's do the others. All right, the painting is complete. Look at that, wow, painted fabric, very nice. So that means it's now time for embroidery. My plan is to, for this the corner thing, to use some of these yellow yarn scraps and just do little French knots in the middle of the flowers. And then with a space thing, I want to give the planets their rings with some yarn scraps. And with a butterfly, I just want to add some details. Yes, let's see if this works. If it doesn't, then this whole video doesn't make any sense, but I'm sure it will work. It'll, it'll be fine. I need an embroidery hoop. Yay, one of these guys. Some needles and my yarn scraps instead of embroidery floss. Let's do this. It's the coldest hand the run down this land where the ocean lands it's the tallest sound the damn smallest crowd but the hearts break loud all right all of the embroidery is done it's looking all very cute very nice now it's time for the iron on adhesive and i think i'm going to use this little square that you can see or you can see it kind of right here as a test object because that is supposed to be the back side of our little corner bookmark this is a, a good test object if this even works because i'm still not sure but um yeah we're going to try that and if that works then we uh, we can make the other ones so i need this and then hold on i'm going to roughly cut out this square 
Okay, this is going to be the square, and now we need some iron ore pieces of the same size. And then we also need a little bit of our cross stitch fabric. First of all, I'm going to iron the fabric onto this, and then we will iron both of these onto the other, different, other fabric. Okay, wait, I need the instructions because I completely forgot how this works. Love it previamente. I'm kidding. I don't speak Spanish. I also don't speak French. Where's English? There's English. Preheat the iron. I'm doing that right now. Place adhesive on back of material to be bonded. Paper liner should face up. Oh, why? Oh, yes. So like this. Yes, I got it, I think. Oh my god. That was... Oh, oh I'm... I am so stupid. I iron it on to my ironing board. That is definitely not what I planned. I hope I can get this off of here again. Oh god, no. Um, yeah, okay, there's now iron on adhesive on my ironing board, but that is a problem for future me. For now, let's, let's, um, yeah, no, we, we don't care about that right now. Let's iron it onto here now. So, like this, and then like this. Damn, that is working so much better than I expected. Oh my god. Okay, that's great. I'm going to let this cool off real quick. While I do that, I can try to get rid of the iron-on adhesive that I accidentally ironed onto my ironing board. I mean, I definitely did not do that. This is what happens if you don't have any brain cells, in case you were wondering. This now cooled off, so now we can cut out the actual shape that we need. Our little square. This worked fantastically. Oh my god, okay. I did not expect that. It's not really a square anymore. That's fine, but it is. And now it isn't wobbly anymore. And that was the goal, and I achieved my goal. So I would call this a success, okay. Now let's cut out our little triangle. Now we have our two little pieces and then we can sew these together. I'm going to do that with my sewing machine in a minute. But first of all, let's do the other bookmarks. And let's not iron more adhesive on our ironing board. <laughs> okay. I quickly went upstairs to my sewing machine and joined these together. So now all the bookmarks are done. One turned out very ugly, one turned out looking like a fifth grader crafted it, but also kind of cute. Like sometimes things that look like a child crafted them also are a vibe. And one turned out really cute, I really like it. Here they are, quick quick spoiler, oh my god, wow, amazing. Yeah, but before I once again tell you all the things that I did wrong, of course it is time for the reveal. I want to find fitting books. Yes, this one. I got a book about space and stars and stuff. Very nice. It's in German, so you probably can't read it, but it's about space. Then I have right here a book about flowers and now something for the butterfly. I do not have a book about butterflies, but I do have a book about bees. Now I'm falling and now all the bookmarks have their fitting books. That means now it is time for the reveal. <laughs> Okay, let's start with my least favorite one, the space one. Um, first of all, it's just not my favorite design. I don't like it too much. It is kind of okay, but also not made very well. That is an understatement. This is the first palette ring I did and I kind of didn't know how to do them. And then these look a little bit better. I've learned from my mistakes. But also I only had scissors to cut this and not like a fabric cut thing. That thing that looks like the other thing you can cut pizzas with, only that one's for fabric, you know, this with a little wheel and then you can cut fabric in nice and straight lines. I didn't have, I do have one of these, but I just didn't know where, so I used scissors and now these aren't straight lines, but that's fine. It still does its job. I mean, you can throw it into a book and then you know which page you are at, so I guess that is a success. And I used a little bit of my yarn scraps, which was the point of this whole craft. So this is I'm not going to hate too much on it, but it's kind of ugly. <laughs> now onto the butterfly. It's... Uh, I think this is... this one's fine, I think. Yeah, I kind of do think that one is all right. 
And then my favorite one is this little corner. I think this turned out really, really cute. This at least looks like I tried and I did try. <laughs> So I, I do like this. I'm definitely going to use this. I think I'm also going to use the butterfly. I don't know about this, but this is here also. Tell me what your favorite is in the comments. And please don't laugh too hard at this week's craft. But I am already way behind schedule, so we had to get something out there. And I think at least two of them are cute. <laughs> so... <laughs> Success. Yay. And it, it was also just a nice way to use up these very short pieces of yarn that I still had. So that's nice. If you have a good idea on how to use yarn scraps, please do tell me in the comments because I still have so many more and I am not going to make 5 billion bookmarks with them. So maybe you guys have some other great ideas. Go tell me. And I hope you had fun with this very short craft and also like a little bit more, even more chaotic than usual and even less successful than usual, but it's fine. That sometimes happens. I still very much hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys again next video. Goodbye.